Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discuss about how to implement our step definitions and also how to do for parameterization. These are the two concepts we are going to discuss in today's session. Okay. And last video session, you can see, right, we have run and see that what the step definitions we created, that particular things we shown here and we are get the output as well, right? Now, one thing we need to remember, our basically our, our play rate is basically async APDs, means we required for async things and here it is not generated for async. Every time we need to create a sync, right? That is not a good idea. We can able to get it from that when we run it. If that particular step is not implemented, we need to by default we need to get for a sync. How we can able to do? And there is a one things we need to add here. Default is there, right? And the default after default, just enter. And here is format option. Format options colon to curly braces. Inside this, you need to use for snippet interface. Okay, interface. And here is basically we need to use for async. Async of it, okay. Async of it. Now, again, I'm going to here uh, delete all this, okay. I'll keep it like this itself, or else I'll make for everything is empty, okay. Now, again, we are going and and make up. Now you can see what oh shit. Well, it is not taken as a format. Basically, it will give for a sync as well, but here now not getting for a sync snippet. Okay. Basically, we can get that snippet itself. A sync here it will get for a sync itself. Now it is not showing for a sync format. Correct. Okay. No Then I'm copying all the steps here. Yeah. Okay. And then we need to import here. Import curly base are given when and then and from Umba. After that, we need to export this as import. On the location, we can 
second two positions. Very nice. Always we move it. Tumblr here. And we need to implement our code stupid here. We'll remove this as well. Okay. And now we need to hard coding now. And also I try, I will implement for even uh, parameterization code as well. We'll implement. Okay. Wait, wait. And here we need to use for. Input Chromium from Clearer Test and Page will be input and browser will be input. These are the two things we need to input. And then we need to use for let, let here and uh, browser, called the browser. And then we need to use for let page colon a page. Okay. And then by using this, we can able to access all the places. Okay. And first we need to chromium, right? For the chromium purpose, we need to use here. A browser equal to await chromium dot launch and here we can able to use for headless as false. Okay, and then we need to use for page equal to await browser dot a new page. Okay, and then we need to use for await page dot go to page dot go. To. Here we need to specify our URL. For this, I'm going to use for macquery tools. Okay, I'm copying here and single quotation pasting. Okay, now we are able to provide here macquery tools. Okay, then after that we need to use for our page intervention and we need to make a login as well. Okay. And I'll inspect this particular one. Okay. And here is basically username is the field. Okay. I'll come back here. And we need to provide here username and password. Right. Now await page dot locator and single quotation square basis. And here I'm pasting. Okay. And dot fill. What we need to fill here. Here is basically a metric. Okay. This is a metric is my username. And same thing again. We'll use it for one more time. That is a password purpose. Okay. And password, if you inspect this one, is basically a password. Okay, I'll replace the password and then we need to click for submit. Submit. Okay, submit. I also have a single format. Then we will copy this one. Place it here and then take this submit value and paste here. Which Click function. Shit. Click function. Okay. Then after that, we, uh, we can try for wait some time. Just I uh, use for two percent milliseconds. Okay. Now this is my login page validation. And just for providing the user URL and uh, providing for username and password, and then we are going to group for submitting login okay now if i try to run this one whether it will execute or not we'll see npm 
space run space test. Now my browser got launched and my queries provided login got success. Right? We are able to do for success. Now I'm not using for close browser. That's why still it is there. And you can see execution got passed it. Right. Like this, we can able to implement. Now we need to implement as a parameters. Because here you can see uh Mercury is the one name it is presented. I don't want to like this, but I want to use it as a different. Okay. I need to pass from the step definition file itself. From here, I need to pass it. Okay. Again, I'm going to implement another scenario. Okay, this is a scenario two. With the param, params, okay, and here provide a valid username as I'll take it here from Mercury. Okay. Um, double quotation can use single or double and password also password as this one okay now this particular step we are not implemented that's why it is not able and even you can see control and if you click this one and automatically it will comes to here and you can able to see that particular step definition for whether it is implemented or not now there is a one step if you click also it will not right now how we can able to implement this one way just you can come back here copy this particular step okay copying this one and coming down pasting here Now you can see here, right? Here it is provided like a step as, as, and I'll copy this entire information. Coming back here, where the same information like that. And wherever that particular is there, right? I'm just, I'm using for string, okay? Same thing again, I will go and implement here as well. Removing this to curly braces and providing as a string, okay? Then I'm going back to here and I'll provide the two parameters that is called a name, comma, password, okay? This particular password and name, I'm going to pass it here. A name, password, again, I'm going to pass for password as well, okay? Now again, come back here and see, that got gone. And if you click here, again, it will come to this particular step location. Okay. This is like a parameterization. We can pass it from here and you can able to reuse. And this is the one, another way. Okay. And even we can able to use for scenario outline. Scenario outline, how many you can able to use. That I'll explain in next video session. That is a scenario outline. Complete uh, uh, example I'll show you here. And why we can able to go for scenario outline also. That I also I will explain you there itself. Okay. Now here we can run one more time. Okay. Now two scenarios we need to run. One is first one without like that particular one. And next also the same. Now I'm using for reusing these steps. You need to close. If you close, right, uh, you can see the properly all the things. After waiting for seconds, you can use for await place dot close await browser dot close. Okay, just to flow, closing those two things. Now again, I'm running. 
Now here, now it will log in and close. It will two seconds and it will close it. Now again it will open and again it will see and it will close it. See, now you can see that here as well, two scenarios, six steps got passed, okay? This is the way we can able to test our test cases by using this Cucumber framework, okay? And one more thing like you can see here, this is not reused location. If I go for scenario outline, if I create for new file, again, I need to create this particular one, right? Again, I need to launch the browser and it. The each time I need to use this all the things. I don't want to use. How we can able to reduce that we'll learn into upcoming session. Okay. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.